Hello, my name is Krishan Thima. Today we are going to build ASP.NET Core web app. The main purpose of this app is to send mail from app. This is new ASP.NET Core project. First, we need to create a model, email model. Add new class email model dot cs and prop inter enter pr prop and hit tab to and adding data annotation Within system custom model or data annotation. And subject string message. Require and message also require and now we are going to create controller email controller and inherit from controller. Create constructor. Create a method, new method index and it will return view. Then another HTTP context, HTTP post, it will be post method, it will be asynchronous. Send mail and it will request email model. Return view. We need to add name space for this. Now, email model also name space. Now, create a view. In view folder, right click on here and new folder and folder name will be email because we are created email controller. So, email and index view. New file index.csstml and using model email model. We are using email and we are using bootstrap to create our form db class and class name is your cart for all using for cart cart body. Bootstrap cart class this is and form now we will create form as we controller for we are going to create control our email and sp action means our method name is equal to each send mail and type is equal to post DB class form group label class is equal to label. All these are bootstrap classes to input type is equal to text SP for this means for model which model means for this for two class form control and span sp validation for two class t 
sticks tanger this has been done for two now for subset subject input type is equal to text s before subject class form control and sp validation for subject class text danger no for message class equal to label message in message may be last so we use text area class from control sp4 message span SP validation for message class text tanger and we need to bottom to submit the form button type submit class btn family this is a bootstrap class this just sent this is our view has been completed now for the validation go in share folder in your validation script partial and copy this link and your html and this is for the jquery validation save it and now we are going to let's run it now, First of all, let's navigate this, navigate our in the home page, like in here, or our content name is email, our method is action, it means method, which is index, and here I'm going to paste mail. Let's save it, let's run it one time. Dot net watch run the host in listening in loop 5001 copy the link and look here me this is our form and if you send this is the jquery validation now we'll do this now let's create service service folder add an interface i email service cs this interface and let's create one tax that means send email method and it will require email model in model model and let me just give him no create email service class 
it will inherit from IML service and we need to implement the interface and this is interface create constructor now go in startup we need to configure our configure configure our email service service dot at i email services services and give it name space don't now go into controller in email controller depend it is it's called dependent injection private it only i email services email services give name space i thought i had done wrong email services look like this and in a constructor email service email service this dot this email service equal to email service and this is our method where form will come now if modal state if modal state is that is valid if modal state is not valid it will return view return view means it will return modal if modal is valid then await this dot email service dot send mail and here we will send our modal let's save it now go to in email service so email service model here we need to get async tax for sending for sending a mail we need extra library so we're going to install our library we use to send mail from smt dot net at package mail kit package and install now go into app setting the json in here we need to config configure our email setting email settings in here we need required mail server in this field enter your mail server real mail server like this mail dot np dot like this mail server of your mail server mail port four six four six five for HTTPS and send a name Sender name. Uh, here you need to enter your sender sender name of email. Sender. In this year you need to enter enter your sender email address.
passport you need to enter you need to enter your enter your mail passport i am writing here just enter your mail server enter your central bus but while you are creating you need to enter your mail server and your standard name passport okay now let's go to in email service in here this private returning mail server string private read only string sender read only string mail put private read only string passport private read only string send your name and here in constructor i configuration yes one and add name space for this using microsoft extension dot configuration and this dot mail server is equal to configuration dot get section email settings dot get section mail server dot hello this means where we're getting mail server address from app setting dot json like this we need we need sender mail port passport and all this so here also sender is equal to and i am copying this then here and change here mail is for the sender sender name for mail port and here mail port and passport complication here also passport passport send name Sender name this much now in this send email method from here we need to send mail try catch If there is an action expression, throw an expression. X and add namespace. In system mode, it will be okay. In here, var meme message is equal to new meme message. This class is from milk kit like ready using milk kit meme message dot 
from dot add new mailbox address and here we need to provide sender name comma sender new message dot to dot add new mailbox address and we are sending to whom means to model dot to me message dot subject is equal to means model dot subject me message dot body is equal to new text part it will be seen in HTML format HTML text is equal to model dot message or message now using our client is equal to new SMTP CLI and the client SMTP client at name space using milkit.net.smtp and port is equal to we need to convert because in app setting all will be set in string so we need to convert into in 32 mail port await this for asynchronous await client dot connect async it require mail server port and true give post for and await client dot authenticate async you need to authenticate for sending also here sender comma and passport await client dot send async and we are sending now message means mean message and await client dot disconnect async dot true now let's create new method where if mail has been sent successfully then also send successfully public action result success Return view. Return view. No. No. In here, build email. Add new file. Success dot csstml. Now here as to success fully mail sent. And here in controller, if mail had been sent, so then it will return, return, redirect, direct to action, name of success, success. Now let's debug it. How was it working or not? In the email service, through debugging, we will find how the output is going in the flow. And if you if we got any error, we can easily to solve it. Now let's debug it. Run and start debug and choose .NET Core and add configuration and save it. Now run start debugging. Oh, 
our project running now in mail let's check validation our validation is good now to i'm sending to my account and subject will be like demo test demo sent no debug will look in your model the message also has cam subject also cam and two also call now here click in here and here model service and here model as cam click check here come down here look sender and password also now send async message or message now after finishing it will be disconnect now return our message has been successfully sent in the mail and in here view successfully mail sent this is our output of the project thank you for watching this video if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel code with bj thank you